on me a ginger can call another ginger ginger only a ginger can call another ginger ginger hello today i'm reviewing q ginger this is a uh, superior ginger ale as claimed by their own bottle and the ingredients in this are carbonated water organic agave ginger extract extracts of coriander uh, carinom hayin orange peel and rose oil along with citric acid in this nine ounce or 265 milliliter bottle you will get 60 calories no sodium 16 total carbohydrates, 15 of which are sugars. This is made by Q Drinks in Brooklyn. Let's pop this open, shall we? Nice little twist off for a second there. I actually thought it was a pop off. It's really hard to get open. Give it a smell. You can most certainly smell the ginger in there. It's quite uh, strong, quite apparent. Almost like you're a. Uh, Popping open something like a cock and ball, or maybe even a boiling. Uh, let's give it a taste. This unusually reminds me of um, Sips uh, Elderflower Lemonade, or Elderflower Lemon. I'm not sure what it was called, but it had elderflower in it. Um, and then there's just a hint of ginger in there, so it kind of feels like a more completed version of that, because it felt like a ginger ale without the ginger, and this is a ginger ale with the ginger. It got quite a bite, it doesn't last too long, but it does stick with you, so if you're not a fan of bitey ginger ales like Cock and Bowl, then uh, you're not really going to like this. But yeah, very unique. Because uh, at first you get that sweetness that you get from, say, a Werner's, and you get that sourness that you get from like Canada Dry or a Schweppes. And then you get that gingery bite that you get from a lesser known ginger ale. In terms of branding, I think I'll give this one a 4 out of 5. It's quite unique, uh, very different. It's merely a Q in cursive with ginger below it and some leaves. I know it's hard to see because of the glaring sunlight, but I need some lighting in here, so that's what I'm going to have to deal with. In terms of smell, I'll give that one another 4 out of 5. It's pretty good. It's your typical ginger ale smell, but it's pretty enjoyable. In terms of flavor, I think I'll give that one a 4.5 out of 5. While it does take a little bit of getting used to, it is quite enjoyable flavor. I'd definitely try this again, given the opportunity. And I most certainly recommend that you pick this up if you enjoy uh, spicy ginger ales. Overall, I think I'll give this beverage a 4 out of 5. Link to the website will be in the description, possibly a purchase link along with a link to my blog. Be back! So listen to me if you care for your health. You won't call me ginger unless you ginger yourself. Yeah, only a ginger can call another ginger ginger.